Hello, I'm Alex Germain, a freshman at USF. I'm majoring in business advertising. Uh, the data set we used for this presentation was given to us. It was in the form of an Excel spreadsheet of insurance data. Now we were given multiple fields, including the uh, region state, the salesperson, uh, the invoice and actual sales numbers, along with the type of insurance they sold. So starting on the requirements for 2A, the highest sales was New Jersey at just over 1.145 million. Uh, for the lowest sales, um, it was Massachusetts at just $802,000. For requirement 2C, the average amount of insurance sold per state was $695. So closest to this was Kentucky. Uh, they were they were at not 695 and 70 cents over. Uh, for 2D, the average amount of insurance policies sold in each state was just over $1,290. It rounded to $1,291. And Missouri was closest to this average. They were at $1,290 exactly. For 2E, all the states actually met the $800,000 requirement. The only state that came relatively close was Massachusetts. They were 2000 over, but they still did make that 800,000 requirement. For 3A, moving on to requirement 3A, the state with the highest average policy was New York at $828 on average for the policy. And the lowest policy was Connecticut, uh, just about $200 less than them at $630.50. Moving on to requirement four, the Northeast had the highest sales total at 9.763 million, and New England had the lowest sales at just over 5 million, 5.071 to be exact. Going on to requirement five, the leading salespeople by region. So in the Northeast, we have Matt at 3.319 million. In the Southeast, we have Jennifer at 2.78 million. In the Midwest, it's Dave with 2.771 million. In the West, it's Peter with 3.72 million. In the North Central region, it was Mario with 3.689 million. And in New England, it was Sarah with 2.576 million. Moving on to requirement six, the total amounts for the different types of insurance, the total sales for each. The highest was professional at 18.052 million. Uh, double, nearly half of that is auto insurance, next up at 9.064 million. After that, closely behind is home insurance uh, at 8.688 million. Behind that is disability insurance sales at 6.557 million. And finally, life insurance at 3.496 million. Now, now going on to requirement seven from the map, if you look in the northeastern section, you can tell those states in darker blues, such as New York and Ohio, uh, along with Virginia and New Jersey, those are the darkest blues signifying they had the most sales. So it makes sense that the northeast, specifically New York, being that it had the highest average cost for insurance per month, of course, that would lead to the fact that the Northeast uh, does have the highest amount of sales. And uh, in the Southwest and the South in general and the Texas, New Mexico area, those are the lightest. And uh, that followed along with the Midwest and Southeast part of sales. And uh, my final takeaways from this, um, obviously professional insurance is the highest selling part or type of insurance in this field easily and it shows because new york had one of the higher uh, amounts for professional insurance out of any state and of course that correlates with the fact that they also had the highest cost per month of insurance